Hi, I'm Chris, and thank you for joining me on possibly one of my most favourite parts of a model car build. And to get started with this video, we're just going to be looking at um, the state of the clear, how the clear's dried up, um, the orange peel, and obviously you've just previously seen as well uh, the sunroof panel lines. Um, in actual fact, uh, by the end of it, they won't be that noticeable. Um, but, but yeah, again, as I say, with the orange peel on the body of this, um, it does look quite... Does it look quite bad? Well, you know, it's not as bad as I've had before. Uh, it's not too bad to be fair, in all fairness. Uh, they're just using uh, the P2500 uh, wet sandpaper. And here I've gone straight to me. This is after I've finished uh, with the wet sand in the roof flat. Um, I made sure there's no more shiny spots. You could just, just see a few tiny little shiny spots with that sunroof panel liners. Um, I didn't want to go much more than what I did just in case I started burning through. Um, but uh, And this looks quite messy. What I've done, I've actually used a, um, a cotton wool wheel as such in a rotary tool uh, for the first time to see how it went. Um, I think I did two or three passes and as you can see, there's quite a lot of um, splatter and uh, fluff from this wheel. Uh, it, it's a bit different. I, I, like I said, the first time using like a rotary tool to do that, I wasn't too keen. I much prefer a hands-on method where I know I've got full control and if I do slip, um, I'm not going to scratch it like I did with uh, part of the rotary tool. Um, so, I think, like I said, I think it was two or three passes, um, but I decided that was enough for me. I, you know, it's, it's got quite messy. Um, so I'd, I'd rather go back to the hand, uh, the hand and cloth method. Uh, as you can see here, just um, started applying some more of the, uh, the Auto Finesse Triple Three Polish. Um, there's not much left, so I thought I'd just use it up. Um, I quite like it, to be fair. It's good. Uh, this and the Kemp Models Hyper Polish is um, some of the polishes I've used and I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, like I said, this, this Auto Finesse bottle is uh, nearly empty, so I just thought I'd just use a bit more on this. Um, and I've actually had this video at normal speed. I know before I've done them like sped up but yeah this is normal speed video um i've cut out a lot of parts you know a lot of the wet sanding and stuff um i've cut out most of the you know the applying and buffing out the polishes and stuff but i just thought i'd show this bit um from where after the two passes of the rotary tool um and you could see where, where the light you could still see quite a few uh, scratches and stuff in the roof line uh, what I wanted to do is, is show you this and show you the process of, uh, you know, the, once I've applied it by hand, the buffed it off, and then do it again, and then do it again. I, I like seeing the changes. Oh, yeah, caught the camera. Oops, my bad. I like seeing the changes of um, uh, the, the appearance of, of you know, that, that, that clear coat. Um, you can already see it's quite shiny. I mean, it was quite shiny in the first place before applying this. Um, with the wheel, uh, but you can still see it's quite shiny. So I've just folded up the cloth, uh, just buffing it off, um, and you see it, it comes up. You, you can start to see already. Uh, it's got rid of quite a few of the scratches and um, the, the tiny scratches and whatnot. And there you can see the difference is made already. You can still just about see the panel lines in the roof. But after a few more passes, you know, I didn't actually notice all that much to be fair, and I was really impressed, really happy with that. Um, I, you can see why this is one of my favourite parts of a build because you know at the start of the video, you could see the the reflection of the outside light. It was it wasn't you know crisp, it wasn't clear, it was quite blurred as such with the orange peel in the clear coat, and then obviously you know after a few passes of polish, it it just it's a bit like a glass it, it you know it's the, the the change in appearance for me it's you know it, it's a stage that it really starts to bring the uh, the build to life it gives it that realism i think it adds adds to the final appearance um and i think it is quite a time consuming process which is why i've cut out quite a lot uh, you know to condense this video down to you know what's it just short of 15 minutes um, so yeah, it is quite a time-consuming process, um, but I, I just think it's worth it. I, just, I, don't, I think it's worth it. It just gives that, that 
final appearance of your build, uh, a, bit, a bit more life, a bit more realism, and I just think a better overall look, um, especially you know when you, you you're taking photos of it and you catch the light reflections of it. And it's just super crisp and sharp. And to say I only use uh, one grade of wet sandpaper, uh, and I only use you know like one polish uh, instead of like you know several different grades of paper, several different compounds, and all this waxes and everything else. I, uh, for what it is, you know, it's it's cheap enough, um, and I really like. Uh, I, I just really like doing it. It, it is. It's, it's it's one thing I look forward to um, on each build. Um, and I did find it pretty weird on the previous build on the Mustang, where I didn't have to polish it. I, I, when I finished it, I, f I just kept feeling like there was just something missing. Also, obviously, I, I, you know, I sprayed it with a flat coat, uh, uh, you know, flat clear coat, and. That didn't require any polishing, and it, just, it was just so weird because that's the first car I've not polished in such a long time. Um, so yeah, I was looking forward to getting back to this, and as you can see already, catching the light of the lamp uh, and the outside light reflections, um, the scratches are, are near enough gone. But just on the roof line there, towards the back of the roof, uh, it's like a little tiny bit of a gash sort of thing from where I caught it. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, I actually ended up getting it out and with a few more passes of polish. You can see just there that scratch. It looked quite bad, um, but in actual fact, I just think it was just like a layer or two deep. Um, and I have to a few more passes of the polish. It, it, uh, I don't remember noticing it. Also, I will be honest, uh, normally when I go for a, a, a polish on a build, I think I go a bit too much, a bit overboard. I do uh, sometimes, you know, I could on average 10 passes of polish, I think. Um, it sounds a bit crazy, but I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, it's almost as if I, you know, I could get a magnifying glass out. I just, just, you know, I'd like to make sure I get rid of as many tiny scratches from the wet sanding process as possible. Um, but with this, I didn't go too, I didn't go too bad, didn't go too overboard. I think I did enough, um, and you'll see later on in the video um, the, the final outcome. You know, I was, I was quite happy uh, with the outcome. But really, I don't think unless you've got a direct light above it, you're not really going to see those finer scratches. Um, especially as I'm the type of person who likes to, once it's a finished build, to take the final build pictures. I always prefer to take it in uh, outdoors. I like to take it outdoors, the photos, but in a shaded uh, um, environment as such. So, you know, even if it is in the garden, on a table, all set up, um, I'll try and find some shade um, away from the sun, direct sunlight. Um, I just find uh, with, with, with the uh, photos taken in the shade, I find it adds a bit more realism uh, to that finished product. Um, so what I did with this is I eventually just, um, you know, I checked it. I went, I went, stood outside, checked it, and I couldn't really see any scratches. I was pretty happy with how it looked. Um, and then, as you can see here, just, just you know, another pass in. You know, I do apply quite a lot of polish. I do apply quite a lot. I will be honest, um, but I like to have plenty to work with. I like to make sure there's plenty there to work with, making sure you know I can you know work it in. Um, and uh, you know, just just you know, just take my you know, I say take my time, um, it does take quite a lot of time, but yeah, I like to make sure there's plenty on there to work with, uh, make sure it's you know, it well worked in. Um, and as you can see, here, uh, get the cloth, fold it in half, get a nice big ball of it as such, and just go mad and give it a mad buff. Um, and it's this bit that I really like. As I've mentioned already several times, <laughs> it's, it's just the, the, the appearance. But it looks a bit like glass. And you can see there, look, you can hardly notice those panel lines, hardly notice. It's just about uh, where them sunroof panel lines were. So, you know, at this point now, I'm really happy. And there, we've just put the light on with the camera. And you can see the pearlescent flat. And now you can see the glare from the light. It's not quite crisp. And this is what I mean by uh, the, having the direct light. You can still see some, some of the finer scratches. And I think that's just down to the fact that I only use the P2500. If I was to go up through the grades, 4 to 6 to 8 to 12, you know, you probably wouldn't see that. But for me, I'm happy with it, absolutely. Absolutely happy with it. And you'll see here, there's no light. I, I turn the lamp off, and you just see it on the front bonnet, not polished. So it, it's... You know, quite orange peely. The edges are quite blurred on the reflection of the light outside to the roof line. And I'm just super, super happy with how that looks. To say, you know, I've used minimal um, resources as such, um, I'm happy. And 
there. You could just catch the outline. Um, I mean, look at that shine. Reflection. Yeah, that, that to me is why I think this could be my favourite part of a build. It's just really bringing it to life. Uh, that's the bottle I use. Yeah, the triple three um, polish. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, and you can just see there, like, the, the reflection of it in the roof. Yeah, very happy with that. Uh, with this bit, um, I've actually, this is later on in the day. I think I did one more pass on the roof, to be fair. Uh, but I've been around the whole body um, and very cautiously um, wet sanded uh, the clear as flat as possible. Um, you can see all the shiny areas around the edges, around the raised parts. I didn't want to get too close to them at the risk of burning through. Um, for me, um, that I'm, I'm happy with the closeness of how I am to the edges. Um, again, you know, you, you just got to be careful not to do too much. You got to be careful not to burn through. Um, and I'm, yeah, again, I was quite happy with um, with how close I got. You've got to be extra careful, obviously, as I mentioned in previous videos. When wet sanding, wet, wet sanding over the uh, the rounded parts, the curved, the edges, the raised parts. If you're not careful when wet sanding, you'll soon go straight through it uh, because that's where the paint is thinnest. Um, I, like I said, you know, there's, there's there's quite a few shiny spots still, like especially around the side repeaters there. Look, you know, shiny spots. I didn't get as close as I could. Didn't want to risk it. Didn't want to risk it because for the sake of just a tiny little bit of orange peel they might see around that was have a Peter for a second you know if you get too close you burn through you have to repaint it again it's just causing a few issues again on the back there under the spoiler I didn't go all the way up again didn't want to risk it um, so I just went with what I'm comfortable with um, and I was you know pretty comfortable with this so you know you have wet sand the front bumper the back bumper as you've seen all the sides uh, and I've even um, wet sanded this the spoiler bit as well uh, the, the part that goes between uh, the, you know the main spoiler part because it's quite a, a big surface area and so I thought you know I'd, I'd just give that a wet sand as you can see here uh, tried to get it as close to the edges as possible it's still got the slightest dip uh, but I just went carefully and there we are all polished up and yeah I am super happy with this the, the colour has really come to life and I just think it just gives such a better, you know, the finish. I just love it. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, five, maybe six passes uh, of the polish on each panel. You know, obviously you've seen me work on the roof. After that, I'd have worked on the, the bonnet, um, you know, over the, the, the rounded parts where the, you know, the headlight housing goes. Um, I've probably worked on the, the front bumper, um, you know, then I've gone down one side. You know, you, I, I basically go around the body working as a you know you know one panel at a time so once I'm happy with one part um, I think you know four or five maybe six passes uh, I was quite happy and moved on and I just I love that color it's brilliant uh, and here we are uh, the following day no direct light as such uh, just on my little spinny uh, just, uh, you know paint table uh, with just the natural light coming from through the uh, the kitchen doors and uh, yeah it's is it the best it's probably not the best I've done, but it is just, yeah, it's, it is where I want it to be. It's it's there, I'm happy, um, and um, as tricky as it, you know, the body shape might have been, I was very fortunate not to have a single bit of burn through. I was so happy, so happy. Um, I've actually just put the light on, I think, from my camera, um, the torch, and you can just see, yeah, the colour, the finish. That for me is, it, it, yeah, that'll do. I'm happy with that. And, you know, this this is the reason why I, I could possibly quite happily say it's quite possibly my favourite part of any build. Um, as, as, you know, time consuming as it is, it's there. But anyway, thank you for watching. Next episode, we'll get the final assembly. Um, take care of yourselves. Thanks very much. Cheers.